Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. House overwhelmingly passes 900B relief package now being debated in Senate. Relief for schools, renters, and entertainment venues. The pandemic relief package passed by the House is offering stimulus checks to Americans and New Hampshire Senators said the compromise is a start. A family of four would receive about 2400 through those pandemic payments, said Senator Jean Shaheen. So hopefully that provides a little help, not as much as people need. I appreciate that. The package would send 600 sediment checks to Americans, making 75000 a year or less, or 150000 for married couples. That is half the amount sent out in March. The package includes an additional 600 for each dependent child. The federal government will provide an extra 300 a week for unemployment benefits through mid-March. The package also includes assistance for small businesses, restaurants, and the self-employed. The bill will provide $92 billion for schools, colleges, and child care, and $25 billion for rental and landlord assistance, and $15 billion for entertainment venues. A 15% boost for SNAP, the Supplement Food Assistance Program. While no direct fiscal relief will go to states, they will share $22 billion for pandemic expenses, including testing and vaccines. The incoming Biden administration is going to want to come into office with its own plans and policies, assess the economy and state of the pandemic when they get in and work with us to develop additional relief packages said. The package is part of the larger $2.3 trillion spending bill to fund government operations and includes a provision supported by Hassan to end surprise medical bills. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.